next I will go for designing the gallery web page. Now, what I have planned here is that I am interested in giving the links of videos that are designed by our national resource center for delivering the lectures on this online refresher course. So, for as a sample what I will be doing here is that I will be adding some 3 to 4 videos on this web page. Let us see how to add the YouTube videos on your gallery page. So, again go to this insert menu, if you go down you will find a link for YouTube. So, click on YouTube here you will find a text box. So, what simply I have to do here is that I have to type the topic that you are willing to search. What I will do? I am I am typing the name of my name only. So, it will be showing me the videos that were designed by me. Let us say the very first video uh, result. So, these are the results that are displayed. So, I am choosing this one and I am selecting it. Okay, so, at the left hand side now you will find that the thumbnail for that video has appeared. Now, at the right hand side I want another video to be displayed. So, again I want to give a YouTube link. So, same way I can go to this insert and select a YouTube. Besides that there are many other ways I can do this. What I will do? I will open a new window in YouTube. So, youtube.com what I have done here is that I have created my own new channel sorry video channel. So, I will go to that I will search for my channel. So, this is the channel under which we have uploaded all the videos for all the online courses. So, these are the videos. What I will do is that let us say I want this particular video to be displayed on that particular portal. So, right click and again copy the link location, go back to our web design. Here what I have to do is <coughs> I can select embed option, there is option called as embed. So, embed URL and the URL is this one. Okay. So, as soon as I paste it, it will show that video. So, that video has appeared just below the earlier video. I want this video to be displayed at the right hand side, sorry. So, it is to be displayed at the right hand side. This is how it has. Okay, this is the second video. I will add the third video. There are as we have seen that there are many ways I can do this double click I can use uh, again the embed and for getting that embed I will again go to my uh, videos here I will find a particular video let us say the professional or maybe this particular video where I am using the copy link location, go back to our page, select paste and insert. Again I will insert one more YouTube video here. Let us say I want to use this video, copy link location and then I will paste it here, search. See what I have done here is that I have shown you multiple different ways of inserting the videos on a web page. So, I have moved it. So, for the sake of understanding what we are doing actually we are using only four websites. So, this is how the web page will now look like. So, when I open the gallery web page these are the four videos that can be shown. So, when I click on this YouTube video, the video will play. I can move it. Okay. I can pause this and I can go to the next video. 
so this video can also be played you may also have noticed that the researchers are not only from across the national borders but also from you can go to next video hello everyone even how are you this doing today see me next i have an screen. activity for you please have a look at the slide and see so this is how we can uh, view the youtube videos and last web page now which is remaining is the context us slide so let us see how i have actually what kind of information is expected here on contact us i want to display the information in two parts so naturally on the left hand side there will be one text box and the right hand side there will be another text box so what i am doing here again double click insert a text box get the content for the first text box so copy and then what i am doing here i am pasting it so national resource center and this i am taking it as a heading and these are all as a subheading i am reducing the size because i want another text box at the right hand side so what i will do again maybe i will this time i will take it from this side so insert where do i want it i want it here so go to our word document select this text now right click copy and go to our website design page paste so this is how now it can be designed so at this moment what i have done is i have finished designing all the web pages for my website now let us have a look at how it is displayed so just have a preview so what i will do i will go to the home page first so this is the home page click on the preview so this is the home page then go to about us about our university this is about our university then about hrdc then about the national resource center then this page is for courses so for arpit then for arpit 2018 arpit 2019 i have also given a link to go to the course also then these are the governing bodies so academic council and similarly all other committees then we have designed a page for gallery where some number of videos are added right now and the last web page is contact us now the design part is over the most important point that is remaining now is publishing so at this moment it is not available for viewing to the general public so how to make this web page available on internet website available on internet and for that purpose we need to publish this website so if you look at the rightmost button here there is a button called as publish so click here here it ask you which address is should be used for identifying your website so national resource center is a big name what i will do i will say nrc sgbau so nrc sgbau this is the simple name that i am chosen i have chosen if you see just below this it it has shown you the address that complete address how your website will be identified over the internet so it is beginning with that https colon slash slash sites dot google dot com slash as nrc sgbau okay so when i say okay now who can view my site so here i can manage it 
manage and I want it to be viewed by everybody. Anyone can find and view the published version because of course, my intentions are that my website should be viewed by anybody globally. So, now it is published and anyone can find now done. When I click here, here there are options search settings request public search engines to not display my site. Naturally, I will not expect this even I would be happy if the search engines are showing my website in their results. So, now when I click on the publish button, see it is showing that publishing. So, Google is now publishing here it has mentioned that your site has been published successfully at the bottom it has mentioned that it is published successfully. So, what I will do now I just wanted to check whether my website has been published or not. So, here the link is view published site. Fine. So, this is where this is how I can see the website. Now, what is the address? This is the address of my website sites.google.com slash sgbau.ac.in slash nrc sgbau slash home. What I am doing? I am copying this particular link. Okay. What I will do? I will now log out from this or, or, or what I will do? I will open another browser and here I will be typing it. So, see what I did actually whatever that URL was there, what was the URL? sites.google.com slash sgbau.ac.in slash nrc sgbau. This is the URL of my home page and that is now displayed. Why this URL was there? Because we are using a free version of the website hosting. If you have purchased a domain, you can have some other domain name of your choice. So, we are actually using the subdomain of the Google server. Now, sometimes if it is expected that I now do not want uh, my website to be published. So, there might be some mistakes. So, here I am again I have again gone to the design view. So, here on that publish button there is a drop down link. So, when I am clicking here there is a option for unpublish. So, unpublish will remove your website from the internet. It will still be available as a draft. You can make changes whatever are needed and again publish. So, your website will again become available on the internet. So, I believe that <coughs> through these sessions you have understood how to design a website and I also expect that it was much easier and since it did not need any kind of technical expertise, even you do not have to study and learn the HTML tags also which are very simple. We even do not needed or we have not uh, expected the audience to learn HTML or on any other web design tools or technologies. So, simply by using a drag and drop kind of technology, the Google site helps you to design your websites. So, I wish you all the best and hope that all of you will come up with having your own websites, maybe your personal websites or maybe for your own organizations websites. Thank you.